foundation of somatic consent. As you have seen the somatic consent um, dynamic, um, uh, it's a little bit like, um, um, like a house, let's say so. So if you wanna have a solid house, you just need a solid foundation, you need a solid base. And, um, and uh, the solid base is, as you see here, the um, uh, ground of that piece. So, so you see there are different kind of steps in here, like the transpersonal, the interpersonal, the engagement zones, and no permission and permission. And, and so um, we don't want to make it as complicated as it looks at the moment because it's much more simple. I just want to let you know over the next few weeks we go through all of them but today we just only go to the base and so that you really know how to find that base and how to embody the base and and um finding it from a from from a place of experience like we just did now so the base in itself is um that what i desire my intention for for you today to really find and anchor that in your nervous system so um what i would like to do i would like to guide you through through some maps today and one of them is from clinton callahan about radical responsibilities so that we have all a responsibility that we all carry and um this is a map i really love and it's a little bit provocative and see what's what's doing when you're getting it. Um, so uh, put the base on the side so that you're having the overview about that, so that we have all um, uh, a, a responsibility. So let's say this 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 graph here shows on one hand people, on on the other side the levels of responsibilities or responsibilities that we have in life. So that. Um, we have all, um, of course, there are people who have no responsibilities. They don't take any responsibilities. They just reject any idea of responsibilities. So um, um, I'm glad that I'm not engaging with this kind of people. So um, then we have the next level of responsibilities, what is the uh, so-called childish responsibility. And he called that the modern culture responsibility we all live in. So the status quo and maintaining status quo. It is this responsibility where we're just putting it on others. You make me feel. You're responsible for my feelings. And if I'm feeling bad, then um, you should make me feel better. So putting responsibility away from us to an outside source that we want us to feel different or better and of course you can write that all down you just can see the video later and i have a map of that and i will post the map on the wall of the facebook group um, but please make as many notes as you like so um, it's this responsibility here you must pay for when i feel bad uh, you're responsible uh, for that so it's just guilting and shaming other people it's obedience and followership. So there is an authority that we just like looking for that gives us the right direction that we feel better about ourselves. Um, so there is a judgment in there that any other uh, concepts out of the modern culture concept, how we all operate is wrong or bad. And I would say maybe not so many anymore because human, um, level of consciousness is rising, but I think 90% of people are still in Western society, modern culture is stuck in there. So then we have the so-called edge walker, people who see, oh, well, there's something different that we can do. So different ways of approaching uh, different stuff. They're just moving in and out of modern culture and creating new cultures. Um, and, um, a new culture is, for example, um, uh, trying to find different ways of money, dealing with money, or, uh, you know, um, the heterosexual normative, just like this is not all there is. There are different sexual expressions of life where people express their sexual um, identification differently. Uh, so the gender fluidity is, is completely out of the box. So that when we have the, the, the adult responsibility, 
we can choose between going in and out these two responsibilities. So we still can blame other people, but we're just getting more and yeah, yeah, but I might take responsibility for myself here. And I might want to create something that is a little bit edged outside of modern culture. Um, and then we have the next culture responsibilities where we have high and radical responsibilities. And that's just utterly, completely ownership. Ownership about what's going on. Creating with other people a different ideology about what we want to change and see in the world. And that can be anything that comes in your mind or that doesn't come into your mind yet. So that high and radical responsibilities is, um, for example, if you want to see the entire culture about um, um, Mind Valley and um, um, Burning Man culture. It's a complete different thing. Um, but still, somehow, edges of that are still related to modern culture. So, so, so creating um, a next culture based on radical responsibility is utterly your place of creation, what resonates with you. So, let me go to the next step here. So that there are the different levels of responsibility to choose in the next culture is choose from the three powers that I show you in a few moments. Um, so that you actually choose clarity and focus and engagement that is based on we are equal. So there is no hierarchy and there is no difference. One of us is more or better than the other. So we have all an equal um, right here. Um, so we start to see the big picture uh, vision and we are inclusive with different cultures. So we don't need to exclude and we don't need to um, create a, a, a click mentality that only our culture is the right culture and so on. So it's starting to discover and create new realms of reality in here. Um, creating change that is meaningful not only to us and what we want, but in a bigger picture to the uh, collective where we live in and um, the world we want to live in. So that we're actually becoming um, creator of uh, a change at cause and where we can source ourselves from. So we are not dependent on the um, outside world that makes us feel. Um, and it can be very ecstatic and it's very exciting to be in this realm. So the three powers, and I like this little piece of the three powers. The first power is that, um, and this is this part of the noticing brain when this is getting activated, is that you are able to choose from options that are not on the menu. So you create options. Options that are not only given, but options that you want to have in your life. And then you have the second one is um, able to ask an asking question that exists in a different realm. And not only, you know, the questions that we should ask um, or that need to be asked, no questions um, that opening up another dimension, another dimension of engagement. And then the third one is declaring, and that's able to say what is literally present moment awareness um, and not only declaring and manifesting into the realm of creation as for the future, as well of being able to express noticing what is in the moment and what is here now from a place of authenticity and of truth, being honest with what is. So that's why I'm so excited about that because the entire somatic consent engagement system fits perfectly in there because it's in my observation like a tool of um, conscious development. So um, because this is where um, the dynamic um, creates consciousness and growth of consciousness for person and spiritual development. And this is why I'm so excited about it because this, it's, it makes it accessible. So let's go back to the, to the pyramid that I showed you with the house, with the base, and that the base of rising into this realm of 
personal and spiritual development in the structure um, is what needs to be in place first and solid. So the base in itself is what we would like, or what I would like to show on a deeper level today, what we have done so far. And it is this place of um, where, uh, yeah, creation and manifestation starts. And the, 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 base, the base as a foundation of this entire somatic consent dynamic is literally um, being capable of um, um, expressing what is, so declaring what is, saying what is, and being fully aware of what's going on in your body and expressing it. So the base in itself, um, let's do it that way and you can unmute yourself and I will write it down. So when you look into your own base, what you have a right to and a responsibility for individually, you, um, what is it that you have a right to and a responsibility for? And please unmute yourself. Feelings. Feelings, I'll write that down. Feelings, yes. Boundaries. Uh, yeah, the boundaries are there already. Yes, so I'll write it down here again. Mm, decisions. Uh, choices. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, having needs being met. Um, I w you don't have a right to that your needs being met, but you have a right and responsibility for expressing your desires. Thank you, that's a nice clarification. <laughs> <laughs> Desires. I have a right to be. Say again. The right to be. The right to be existence, yeah. Your body. Say again, please. Your body. Your body, yes. Actions. Um, I would say you, 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 have a, you have a right for your you have a right to do actions, but you have as well a responsibility for your actions. So you, you have not the right to do whatever you want to do, because you have a responsibility that when other peoples are included, that you cannot do what you want. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it's an edgy part saying your action that you have a right to your uh, uh, right to all of your action, then because you have as well a responsibility to all of your action, and then you can't do every action you want to do. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So feelings, boundaries, desires. How about beliefs? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about your thoughts? Yeah. Self expression. Um, self expressions. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Health. Um, yeah, you have a right to health, but um, um, I'm not sure about that. But what is if you are sick? Mm. Yeah. Well, well-being. Yeah, yeah. How about your limits? Yes. Yeah. And so we had feelings here already. Um, then, of course, your emotions. Um, so, so when you just have a look at that, and, and, and there's more to that. I just want to leave it as here. So when you look at that, um, what you have a right to and a responsibility for, and just let that sink in for a moment. So that you, that you take ownership. When, when I do that myself, I recognize that when I have ownership about that, everybody else has ownership about that as well. 
Yeah, when I have the rights and responsibilities for that, uh, I don't know, I have a funky sound here. Everybody can hear me still well? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So, so when I have this right and responsibilities here, um, then everybody else has, as you have. And we have all the same rights and same responsibilities. Can I ask something? Yes, please ask. Uh, the difference between limits and boundaries? That's a very good sure. question. Thank you. Um, so the, 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 the difference between limits and boundaries is, um, you know, if this is your base here, then your, your boundaries um, declaring your base. Yeah, so so your, your, your boundaries are independent from other people. Your boundaries are about your capability of, I want to put that in here. Um, your boundaries are your capability of saying no. Your limits are not independent from other people. Your limits are based on the agreement that you have with other people. And about the agreement that is what is going to happen for how long and for whom it is. And we go into that into, in, in the next few sessions. But you, you have a right to your limits and you have a responsibility in your limits. Um, when you feel like your limits are reached, then you have, first you have the, the rights and responsibility to declare your limits. And when your limits are reached, then you have the same right to say, okay, this is how much I can engage here. But your boundaries are independent from any agreement. They just belong to you utterly. So this is what the, what the frame of the base is. It's your boundaries and your capability of saying no. Using your anger for protection and defense if necessary to say stop. Independent from an agreement. That's the difference between limits and boundaries. Yeah, makes, makes it clear. Okay, good. So that um, part of the of the base and um, and as a place of the base is um, what I call self care and self love. Self care and self love, and this is what I would like to do for the next three minutes that you embody your base that you have the next three minutes for self-love and self-care and of course you can switch off your screen or you can leave your screen on and just do for three minutes whatever you want to do for self-love and self-care maybe you need to go to the bathroom maybe you just need to drink some water maybe you need to stand up and shake maybe you need to do whatever you need to do for the next three minutes self-love and self-care okay this is what the base is in the in the raw format it's just waking up your hands the 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 raw form at the foundation of getting the sensory inflow and your action in alignment about what you want to feel and what you want to explore and discover and um uh, f feel. So, so we have done a lot of exercises around um, feeling an object. What I would like to invite you for the next three minutes is that you make connection with the world around you because you are in your space. So you don't need to ask anybody permission to feel anything up. So my invitation is for the next three minutes that um, or let's take five minutes and you do as much as you do, as, as you want as much as you like here you just walk around in your place and touch stuff and feel it and make connection with the world around you so you give yourself an 
an imprint of a 3D reality in the place you live in based on the feeling senses, the feeling stuff up. And it doesn't matter how much you want to do of that, you completely, utterly feel free to feel as much as you want to feel. Five minutes, go for it. Mm. And just allow yourself to feel as much as you want to feel where and however you like that. So you're not doing anything for anybody and you participate exactly in the way how you want to participate in that. You feel what you want to feel. You follow your impulses towards the sensation you want to feel in your body. If you don't want to lay on the ground, and wrap yourself on the ground. Mm. So just look into the camera a few times because I just want to make sure that you can see what I do, but you don't have to do that. And you come up with a judgment that looks silly and that's stupid, that let that come, let that arise. If you think that's ridiculous or boring, let that come up. I think that's mental and crap. Let that come up. If you have joy and fun and think this is just like playful, let that come up. Sensing fields on the edge and you don't want to go deeper there. Let that come up. So another minute or so. So when I'm doing this exercise in a workshop, I normally say on this point, just like, uh, it looks like the um, pause room of a mental institution, but right now I can't say that because nobody else <laughs> is in the room. <laughs> so the joke is not really working here. But you know, it looks a little bit weird when you just actually go back to this foundation of feeling yourself in the space you're in and feeling stuff and making sense and feeling pleasure and, and noticing that it doesn't matter what the object is. You can feel yourself on nearly anything, so you're not limited to feeling anything. You're just limited to the beliefs that you might not be capable of feeling yourself on anything. Mm, slow down till you stop. <sighs> and stay there for a moment and let that sink in your nervous system in your body and then slowly come back to the to the screen
All right, so what did you notice about yourself? How was that experience? All right, um, thank you everybody for joining today. See you again next Saturday, same time. I will post everything on the group wall. Please feel free to use the group um, as to ask questions, to uh, communicate, engage, and I will post the uh, Calendly link um, because each and one of you has 30 minutes an individual one-on-one uh, -on -one session for questions for your individual life, how you want to use it, and uh, please make um, and an appointment whenever it suits you. All right. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining and goodbye. <laughs>